right, hello, hello. God bless, God bless. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God bless. Hello, welcome. My name is Joani. I'm a prophet of God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome. Glad you can make it. All right. I have two words for you, and I'm going to make two separate videos for it. And first, we're going to pray to Holy Spirit. So, O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, strengthen me, console me. Tell me what I should do. Give me your orders. I promise to submit myself to all that you desire of me and to accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. And to begin, I'm just going to say that I rebuke the spirit of fear right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So, I have a lot of scripture to go with this dream. And I'm going to tell you what the dream was first all right so um i had a dream that i was i was famous and that i was giving the word or preparing to give the word all right um the location or the setting was like a like an auditorium and i was in a conference room specifically with a man this man was intended to be the producer it was just me and him in the room and this producer or leader whoever this person was was trying to give me classified scripture all right um and wisdom okay it, it was very odd something about something that i know right is that when you get to certain levels of education, higher education, um, there are text or sacred documents, right? Um, I don't want to say that they're hidden from public view, but they're, they're sacred and they belong to certain libraries and you have to go through certain levels to even some, some certain, certain documents and certain texts you can't even take home. Um, they can't even be photocopied. They're handled very, very professionally, like with gloves. Um, you can't take pictures. They, there can't be ink in the room. There's a lot of procedures to being in a room with sacred text, okay? And this person that I, in, in the dream, remember this is a dream, this person was trying to give me classified scripture, all right, and wisdom. Um, it was very odd. I will tell you that I was, I was you know, as, as a minister of the word, amen. It was printed also on, right, very thin Bible sheets, okay? And the same exact, the, the same exact print, it was laid out not in the exact way either. It was really odd. And then... Um, I knew it was fake when the Holy Spirit came in and it said those who add to the word and those who subtract to the word, they are cursed, right? Um, and that specific scripture is Revelation twenty two eighteen, For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of this of this prophecy, God shall take away his part of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things said, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Right. And then the Bible ends. And then right when the Holy Spirit came in in the dream to say, if any man shall add unto this book, he shall be cursed. Um, I knew that I was sitting with the devil. All right. Th this man was intended to be Satan. Okay. Um, and that's why I opened this up saying we rebuke the spirit of fear. Now, it was odd because when it was delivered to me and the Holy Spirit came I, I had two choices, right? If I'm in the public eye and this is my job, some, some kind of job that I landed, I could, you know, I could obviously go into, I don't want to say like attack mode and say, no, this is not real. This is, you know, um, because I know what the Holy Spirit said. 
but I read it in curiosity. I read it in curiosity, like playing, you know, kind of just playing a game with it. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. And I said, reading it, the wisdom was good, but it wasn't from God, right? Um, this person, this producer was giving me, right, maybe like good wisdom, very, very well-written stuff, but it, it wasn't from God. And what I mean to say is knowing the difference, that it wasn't gospel. It, it was not gospel. Um, it was very odd that the header, all of the books in the Bible are named after a person. Um, and it was, I saw, I can't remember, like, Holy Spirit was trying to make me remember, look at the name, look at the name, look at the name. And in Latin, there's no one that comes up to, to this, um, no one, no one pulled up to this name, but it was a plant, Muellen, M-U-E-L-L-I-N. And when I looked up the plant, in Latin, it means soft. But this plant also has a lot of biblical names, uh, uh, biblical names attached to it, such as Aaron's rod, the shepherd's staff. Um, it, 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 it could have been very like, it's very deceiving, right? Um, so when I took it to God, I asked God, like, God, what, what are you trying to tell me here? And I have three other sets of scripture. So... Zephaniah, the Lord says Zephaniah, Zephaniah 2, and it says, Seek the Lord, gather yourselves together, ye, gather together, O nation, not desired. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chafe, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord, the Lord's anger come upon you, seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth which have brought his judgment, seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Okay. Um, and then the next scripture I got was Revelation sixteen thirteen, And it says here, and I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. Okay. And we're, we're going to continue uh, with the rest of the scripture. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. And then Lord Jesus says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And he gathered them together in a place called the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. Armageddon. Forgive me, Armageddon. This dream was intense. There's another. There's one last scripture, and it's it's pretty long, and it says sheep among wolves, and. As I was taking this dream to God, um, it was, I was like, God, what are you trying to tell me about this dream? Number one, it's not gospel. It might be wisdom, right? There's other sources of wisdom, um, right? People seek wisdom from Buddha. People seek, like, it's not, it's not gospel. People seek wisdom from Stockrades? St Is that Aristotle? You know what I mean? Like people seek other forms of wisdom, but it's not gospel, right? It, it doesn't come from, from the throne of God, right? Um, and then in my, like, I wasn't necessarily at first, I'm not going to entertain it, right? But at the same time, I was like, God, if I, you know, if, if I speak out right now, who knows? I might lose my job. Um, this might also be like a setup. For someone to say, see, this person is, is preaching false doctrine. I don't know why I have to say that word. False doctrine. It's a setup from, from the devil, right? A false prophet. When, when a real prophet gets up there. And for some reason, I had some kind of knowing that when I got up on the stage, I had this like future knowing that I wasn't going, I was going to expose the person. Like this person thought I was going to go on stage and give their false doctrine as, as gospel. Um, and that's what the devil does, right? He doesn't want you to get closer to the gospel. 
Um, but instead I said, you know, I, I gave the lesson. I gave the lesson and it, I, I don't know, it's like I infuriated the person. Um, because in, in a sense, I did and didn't expose them. But I brought forth something that really opened up the eyes of the crowd to say, ah, I see, I see what I'm here to do. I am I see that I'm here to worship. I'm, I'm here to receive uh, something greater than, than just wisdom. And, and now I understand the difference. Hallelujah. So the last scripture uh, for that dream is Matthew 10, 16. Sheep among wolves. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before the governors and the kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. Remember that in this dream, I was I was like, I'm nervous about, well, how am I, how am I going to handle this? And that's exactly the scripture. Uh, don't don't be worried when when they deliver you up on stage, or this platform, uh, for for what ye are to speak. For it shall be given you in that same hour when ye shall speak. Amen. Amen. <sighs> for it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. And the brother shall deliver up brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake but he that endureth to the end shall be saved but when they persecute you in this city flee to another for verily i say unto you ye shall not have gone over the cities of israel till the son of man come the disciple is not above his master nor the servant above his lord it is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his lord if they have called the master of the house bezebel how much more shall they call them of his household fear not that fear them not therefore for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known okay right it was like i knew in in the dream specifically that fear them not therefore for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known okay um they, it's like they were trying to either set me up or like it was it was instantly revealed like this is not this is yes it, it sounds great yes these are great words um and this is also what might happen in the future oh my god where a lot of it, it's you've already heard of cults of ministries right they're not all positive right what this my my channel i joani maldonado i joani molero molero prophet of god through our lord and savior jesus christ preach what jesus crucified all right jesus christ crucified for your sins right just as paul has um there are other churches and ministries that preach as i have seen it very very worrisome the holy spirit the power of the holy spirit um yielding yielding healing from christ and they transform the holy spirit to be in the spiritual not even male or female i'm telling you it was it was bizarre to me but god said even the smallest of them are still christians that was eye-opening for me all right but it's like uh for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known I'm going to continue. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. And what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father? But the very hairs on your head are all numbered. For ye, fear ye not, therefore, ye are more valuable than many sparrows. Whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, 
him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am, co I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I came to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. For And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Right. If you if you love that more than Jesus, you're not you're not worthy of him. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me, which is Jesus, is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. And he that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loseth looseth, excuse me, lose it his life <laughs> for my sake shall find it. He that receiveth you, receive me. And he that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. And he that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receive a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of the little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, verily, verily, I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. This this dream was was intense to be sitting across from Satan, and so many things were going on. And this person was very nice. This person delivered me material, right? That's all. That, if it's not if this person didn't bring me gospel, they brought me doctrine, they brought me material, they brought me um, unbeknownst wisdom, and I know what comes from the throne of Jesus Christ. Um. And that also comes to say that, like I said it before, we already live in a time where people are, these demons, right? These false prophets are destroying or attempting to destroy the, the deceiving many, right? And I, I was so concerned, like, God, how am I gonna do this? How, how am I gonna take care of this? How, I mean, it's good, right? What do I say about it? But I've never seen this in the Bible. Well, it's because it's never been in the Bible. All right, you got you got to ask smart questions. Um, and these these people, right? Um, in in their anger and their fury, they they might put you up to death, right? They they might blaspheme your name. Um, they they might set you up because you you speak the truth, right? Uh, and thank thank goodness for for the word of the Lord, right? What did I say? I preach specifically what Christ crucified for your sins. I, I speak specifically uh, wielding the blood of Christ, the Holy Spirit, the uh, the Spirit of the like the Spirit, the Gospel, the Word of the Lord, in Spirit and in truth. Amen. So that that dream was was very 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 intense. It was very heavy. It was like, and here's the thing about sometimes being a, a real prophet. Many false prophets out there are going to try and replicate, replicate, I need to say that. A lot of these false prophets are going to replicate real prophets. Um, a lot of these false prophets, right, um, they don't, they, false prophets don't come up with their own material. That's what I need to tell you. False prophets don't get it from the throne of God, right? They're a false prophet for a reason. They get it from their, there's the, the Lord said it. There was another scripture. They get it from their own delusions, um, their own dreams. Um, they they don't go they don't go before the feet of the Lord, right? They they don't go bef before before Jesus Christ. There there's no other way to put it. Um, and it comes from their own their own desires and sometimes the the worst part is is that some of these false prophets are so well articulated right uh, they can deliver their message and it's very uh, right the man who speaks from from wisdom speaks knowledgeably right they 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 hold themselves in a, in a certain demeanor that is godlike amen amen um, it almost you also have to understand the difference between professionalism professionalism 
and what that godly tone looks like. Um, am I guilty of not always being able to deliver it? Correct. I, I've, you know, as, as a chosen vessel for God, I have been, I want to say ambushed. That, that's the only way I could put it. I have been, right, like my my soul of peace has, has been vexed time and time again, but at times I can still deliver the word in a peaceful manner. Um, and sometimes the word can't be sent to you with, with peace, right? There's, there's stories, stories, there's, these are not stories. These are events. These are, these are events that occurred in a history, in, in a point in time. These are historical events that were orchestrated by God. Amen. <sighs> that either teach us lessons, that instruct us to, to do better, or instruct us um, as knowing that God has better for us, right? These are these are historical events that are sad, that are sometimes very perverse. Um, so you have to understand that someone who, who delivers to you the truth, right? What, what does the serpent do? What does the false prophet do? Uh, I need to say this. Oh my gosh, I'm getting revelation. It said how many spirits come out of and I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. So you have to understand three spirits, right? Three unclean spirits coming out at once. They're going to attack multiple ways. They attack the word in multiple ways, not just one way, multiple, multiple, multiple unclean spirits, all right? Um... I don't have anything else to add onto this word. I'm just saying that that dream was very intense, that we're living in, we're coming into a world where you're going to be fed doctrine and wisdom, and you need to learn the difference of what is gospel and what what is what is um what is not gospel, essentially, all right. So I love you so much. I will be back with um another word. A, a more delightful word so i love you so much with the love of christ i hope you found that helpful um stay alert in the gospel uh stay at the throne of christ and i hope that i was able to deliver to you some differences that you may right so that the lord doesn't come at you like a thief right uh, you want to be ready for him so uh in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit all right bye-bye